Welcome back to Digi Bros. I can't. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at this. I think you need to get off I'm, the ghost. I'm going. You as, obviously can't take the ghost in. I am in. going as hard as I can. Go faster. Look, all right. Look, we need man. to talk about this. Look. Kirito showed us that if you go fast enough, you can do anything. Look, that was also Sonic. Okay. Yes. Gotta go fast. Look, all right. I grew up on Halo games, all right? Can we call Sonic 90s Kirito? Can we talk about this? <laughs> yes. Can we discuss this? <laughs> no. I grew up on Halo games, okay? And I always thought it was very cheeky of them that when they didn't want you to have a vehicle anymore, they would build a doorway that your vehicle couldn't get through. Pretty much always. You could take a ghost through a whole fucking level of Halo, for the most part. But if they wanted you to lose the tank, they just, like, put up something like this, but wide enough to cover the whole space. You had to get out and jump. This? This right here? <laughs> this is bullshit! This is fucking ridiculous! And this would never have happened oh. in another older Halo game. Oh my god. <laughs> that was disorienting. It was very disorienting. <laughs> The game just wanted you to forget about that. It did. It was like, <laughs> okay, we got it, dude. Okay, we didn't fucking test the game very well. Just stop. <laughs> I want to see how much shorter the credit list for this game is than any other Halo game. I assume like much how many shorter. people even worked on this. I hope it's like the Mortal Kombat 4 team where it's I like just, the same four guys over. And over again. I just I've always been under the impression that this is supposed to like I know that again most people like this game for the story for having like a more interesting characters and stuff. And Nathan Fillion. Maybe that's all it is. Maybe people just like this game because Nathan Fillion's in it. He is kind of magical. Have you seen anything? People love him. He is pretty magical. People really love Nathan he's Fillion. Pretty great. He's pretty that's magical. why he's in Halo 5 as well. Oh, really? Is the same character? We don't know. We <laughs> discussed I, this. I, never, I only played like two main missions of Halo 5 and then I just stopped. why did I you just stop? Stopped. <laughs> why did you stop? You bought an I Xbox One. And you've spent more time playing old Halo games than you have playing the new Halo game. Yep. On it. Wow. Really justifying that uh, purchase. One box. <laughs> One box. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! That was a One Punch Man joke for anyone left behind. I was left. You haven't seen One Punch Man? I haven't. Not yet. Who are you, Josh? Just go ahead and watch it. It's really I fast. I don't want to like, overhype it or anything. <laughs> it's already overhyped. It, 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 you yeah. can't, like, yeah, what you are you can. supposed to do to not overhype it? It's fucking One Punch Man. It's like the most hyped show ever. Like, like the show itself is hype as fuck. <clears throat> I don't think you can yeah. overhype it. It's a very hype show. I think you can't overhype One Punch Man if you were talking to someone who didn't realize it was a joke. Like, because as I, hype as the show is, it's a joke. Like, right. it's pretty obvious. But it's still. <laughs> I hope it's obvious. It's still like the most beautifully animated, kick-ass yeah. fight scenes in but anything I've, I've ever. Heard of, I've heard tell of people who don't get it, and it's like, well, obviously they just don't get the humor, you know? Like they don't get that it's a parody, like. And it's not... I have had... It's not serious? I've had a, an, an a very alarming number of people where uh, I've, you know, I've done a lot of criticizing anime characters for being overpowered, like Ayato <laughs> and Kirito and yes. stuff. And I've had several people, like, either ask or say that I should make a video explaining why Saitama is, is okay and why people like him, even though he's overpowered. And I'm like... <laughs> You don't need me to explain that. It's the point of the show. Exactly. It's the joke. The <laughs> whole joke is that he's overpowered. That's the point. <laughs> that is so obviously, like, no shit. It's not the same as a show that completely takes itself seriously and wants you to be invested in its storyline but has an overpowered character and makes the world unbelievable. The The joke is that he's, he's too strong. Yes. I'm so, just worried that now with the hype and people sharing the action of it, it's just people are gonna not realize that it's just a stupid parody. Like it's just a right. farce, and then they they watch it and they go like, "Oh, this is dumb." It was like that. That's the point. <laughs> oh yeah, on the subject of a farce, I'll talk about some stuff I watched in the last couple days. Tell that us. I thought was great. Right. Tell I've us now. I've never heard anyone talk about it ever. So I've been doing a research project, and I won't say what about, but uh. 
It's involved me watching lots and lots and lots of <laughs> '80s anime that I've never seen people oh, talk God. about before. The fuck just happened? We cut got scene. to a cutscene. Cut we scene. beat the That's level. That's how it works. That level was so much longer than every other level in the game. It was amazing. Five. <laughs> Not it was amazing as in the game was amazing. It was amazing. That in... makes my back sweat. I was oh, amazed Bruce. by the fact. Anyway. Uh, one of the shows I watched was an 80s show called Prefectural Earth Defense Force, and I had no idea what it was, and I'm watching, it's like a 50 minute OVA, and I'm expecting it to be like an old sci-fi show, because that's what it looked like on the promo thing and stuff, but it's like from 1984, an era when like sci-fi was really just big. Stop you for a second. I like how that mission was nothing but yeah. a flashback from the gun. Oh, was that another weird flashback thing? Well, they're all flashbacks. What the fuck is this game? This is the trippiest fucking game. You're a Halo rookie game. that's lost behind trying to find his friends. Now we're in the hub world again. But find your enemies. friends. Find the friends. Okay, go on. Can we use this turret to kill nope. them? No, it's oh, broken. It's broken. It blew up. It's like a phantom turret. Talk about anyway, uh, yeah. So there's this anime called Prefectural Earth Defense Force, and. Um, I never heard of it, so I start watching it thinking it's gonna be a sci-fi, and it's got like this weird, corny, like, uh, intro song about being science fiction, and it's like all in space, and there's all these people. Turns out, it's a complete farce. It's basically Airplane, but for like, 80s oh sci-fi shit. And it was <laughs> fucking hilarious. Sounds awesome. Like, I had no idea what it was gonna be, and I laughed pretty much the whole way through, and I thought it was really funny. But, uh... Speaking of airplane, I gotta find Zero Hour on DVD somewhere. That's... And uh, it was like... <laughs> it was a case where, like, I'd never heard of it. <laughs> Great point. <laughs> I need to remember that. It only had, like, 700 people headed on their My Anime lists, lists, and, like, the overall score was, like, a 6.5. So, like... Like, I... I definitely think it was underrated. Like, I, I can appreciate why people wouldn't consider it, like, a classic or anything, but I was like, this was fucking hilarious, and everybody needs to know about it. So go if you like '80s anime. It's very well made too. Like, be very quiet. It's a. Uh, it clearly had a lot of love and effort put into it, more so than a lot of actual action sci-fi oh, stuff God. from the '80s. So, uh, yeah, go check it out. Well, I guess not from the '80s. '80s was a great era for anime OVAs. The '90s things got a little weird and uh, kind of shit. Just how I like it. And then I watched a movie called Venus Wars that came out a year after Akira. And it was obviously like Akira. Like, very beautifully made, kick-ass, awesome, 80s, sci-fi, cyberpunk action movie with, like, biker kids and, like, cool style and everything. I was like, yeah, this is sweet. But it's very weird. And it starts off like a punk biker kids movie and then it suddenly out of nowhere it, it Char shows up and it becomes Gundam. What? Yes. <laughs> Char literally shows up. It's the same voice actor, almost the same character design, uh, and the same personality. So it's Char. And so it's literally Char. It's literally Char. Literally. Literally Char shows up and then the show turns into Zeta Gundam, or the movie rather. And uh that was bizarre. I did not see that. Like, like, I'll and I mean, Char. I mean, to an extent where, like, <laughs> extermination. This movie was like about these kids. Like, basically, it takes place on Venus, and Venus okay. is at war, and there's all that these kids sense. on motorcycles who are like, as uh, one does, like not like kids, kids, but you Mad know, like, young people on motorcycles. Children. They they do like a infants. They basically do like a uh, <laughs> a motorcycle roller derby type thing. And uh, their city suddenly gets attacked because there's like a war going on between the different places on Venus. So their city gets ransacked and occupied. And then it's just like them deciding that they're going to fight the authority. And they like, there's a tank that was in their, their roller rink or whatever. So they go and they, yeah, it's a cutscene. We found the level. Yeah, we did it somehow. We did it. So they go and they fight the tank and they blow it up. And this is like wow. halfway through the movie. And the whole thing has just been like these kids doing whatever, right? It's just like about them existing in this world. Yeah. And then they blow up the tank and then they suddenly get found by like a rebellion force that like recruits them. And then the entire thing totally changes tone. And now they're part of this rebellion force and everyone looks like Gundam characters. They all have the same uniforms as Gundam, Gundam characters. And the main bad guy is clearly a zombie. And like the guy who made this movie was the character designer for Gundam. So like, but you wouldn't have thought that throughout the movie until this point where suddenly everyone looks like Gundam and Char is there. 
for no reason. Same actor, same character design, same personality. And the main character is basically Camille. So it just, it suddenly Zeta Gundam. And then it's like a war movie. And, and then it ends. And I was like, Did you make an AMP yeah. set to Lady Gaga's penis? <laughs> You're right, I should. And then that'll get a rocket to watch it. number nine, take off to oh, the planet. Start putting more uh, IVs on your digital anime channel. That is true. That'll promote the fuck out of some obscure anime. Uh, I don't. The, the problem oh with God. that, Victor, is that people don't seem to agree with A, my taste in music, and B, my music and show combinations. I don't know if Jesus. you saw the AMV I did with Princess Tutu and uh, That's because they were of fucking ignorant. Fighting. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get it because they're stupid. Just ignorant. That's the... Mm, I, I didn't ignorant. realize you liked it that much. I didn't, didn't like have it. Much it was of perfect. An on it. I was like, yeah, sweet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I hop juggle. skip. Oh, I got double. You got shot. hop skip. I didn't know you were dead or what was going on. Yeah, I died. Is there a vehicle we're supposed to be driving? No. Nope. This seems a little ridiculous. This is a, a very D-Day situation. This is the end of Mr. Impossible 2, which was filmed here. This shit has gotten. This game has taken like a very, very steep difficulty curve. It's just because there's an a... AMV. If the song isn't like a pun of something in the show, like <laughs> right, it that seems be... like the whole appeal of an AMV to me. No, it's a uh, crawling in my skin. No, it's it, numb. Well, to me, uh, it's in the end, like my Con Air numb music video. That one was amazing. <laughs> yeah, to me, like an AMV should be like you. The song and the show are already connected in your mind somehow, you know? Like, like with that Princess Tutu one, the song was I the Swan, and she's doing Swan Lake. And, like, the it first time sense. I ever watched the show, I immediately wanted it. Like, I wanted that AMV to exist since 2008, and I didn't know how to edit video back then. So, <laughs> now that I figured out I could make it in, like, 30 minutes, which I did, uh, I immediately created it. But, like... Oh god. There's like a handful oh. of other OVAs that I've always wanted to exist that I may eventually make if I still feel that they are worthwhile. That were just like... But all of them are like really weird song and video combinations that make sense to me. Oftentimes just because I know the lyrics or something. Like uh... The song The Drowning we're Years by good. the Delgados. I've always wanted to make an AMV with that with Iria no Sora UFO no Natsu, which is an obscure OVA already. But the lyrics of that song almost exactly describe the plot of that OVA, which cannot possibly be intentional because it's like a like a romance sci-fi type thing. The the way the lyrics fit to it is weird that it so specifically works. But uh, no one will understand it if I make it. What are you, Victor? You're just like you look out of it. You I just started to laugh because I started to like <laughs> thrown out of what you were talking about, and then I realized like. Josh and Brandon are gonna have no input on AMVs, and so now you're just ranting no. about a and it's my fault that you're ranting about AMVs. Yes. I remember <laughs> I, I saw AMVs. I've I watch seen shitty AMVs. AMVs. I remember Marcus buying a laptop specifically to watch AMVs. <laughs> <laughs> I Why believe that! that. So be like I believe theory. that! <laughs> like that is one hundred percent Marcus logic. Someone showed him AMVs, and he learned of the concept, and he went, Oh, I gotta get a laptop so I can watch AMVs. He, he's, he would download them. He actually would, like, download yeah. and save AMVs and have them in, like, a folder and well, shit. Like, back in God the damn it. day, Took us all the way back. back before YouTube, there was a little site called, like, AMV.com or something like that. And the only way that you could watch AMVs was by downloading them from this huge index database that people had. So basically every AMV was listed there, because they would get taken down from YouTube and shit, if you, like even when YouTube did exist. So there's a lot of AMVs that I do have downloaded because they were from the really old days of... I can't... Victor, you're the only one this is relevant to, so you need to stop texting and listen to I already to know the story. story. I already know what you're talking about. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I'm I surprised. I thought you were telling them because they don't know. I didn't know you know. knew this about AMVs, that they had, like, an index. Motherfucker, I'm... Motherfucker, don't you can talk live to me about everything ever. Uh, this is, like, an obscure one. I haven't talked about this in years or thought about Somehow, this in years. Somehow, you've told me this multiple times. Look, all <laughs> we know is that Marcus bought a laptop. <laughs> right, well, anyways, you used to have to download AMVs, and back in the early days of YouTube, there were a bunch of ones that, like, I was really into, but they disappeared because of, like, copyright issues. So I had downloaded them to have for posterity, and I still have them just because, like, 
You they're like your shit. I love that you're shooting a ghost with a fucking hand. I, it, and it's not doing anything. It's a fucking banshee, but yeah, it's yeah. not working. Get your halo stuff right, Victor. Gone. Did, did we spawn further up the bridge? Oh no. Or is this backwards? Am I going backwards? Where the we're going. We're going backwards because I'm getting pushed back. Okay. There's got to be something back. Here. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's it's a, a broken tank. Ah! Yeah, there's like nothing useful. You guys got pushed all the way back. <laughs> this is literally the the there's scene from turret. Saving Private yeah. Ryan. Yeah, take this out is your clearly socks. what you're meant to use against the Banshees. I think because they, they had, had uh... The sticky grenades. Yeah. Oh yeah, fuck. Like, the, the enemies are coming to us and we have way more weapons and partners down here, so we might as well let them. Nah, man. That's, that's okay, I just missed... makes a lot more sense. I missed two sniper shots at close range. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't Headshot. lock onto any enemies. From well, here. that was kind of a waste because that guy was blowing up anyways. Yeah. I can't tell if I'm hitting this thing way off in the distance or if it's a thing that can be killed. But I'm gonna oh. shoot it. I'm gonna shoot it like a dutiful soldier. Everything in this game can be killed. How do you know that? Did you know there was a subsect or a subgenre of AMVs called HMVs, and it was all Halo music videos? I did not. But, uh, it was it was AMV specifically built in Halo. Was it still mostly Linkin Park songs? Yes. Why am I and, surprised? And Whoa, what the fuck just happened? They blew up the bridge. Okay, we were supposed to fall back. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> uh, this uh, There were a few original So we were fucking Halo up songs. by even trying to go for why did it spawn us in front of where it wanted us to be? Because that was part of the story, but we skipped the cutscene. But why did it spawn us in front of where it wanted us to be? Because that's where we Facing were. Facing the other direction. Because it was something in the cutscene. From where we should We be. didn't watch the goddamn cutscene. We didn't understand the fucking setup. Alright, so are we supposed to be going this way? Oh, I just saw an enemy dropship behind us. Why the fuck? This is such a weird yeah. fucking game. I remember one uh, video called uh, the Halo Rap. Oh, is that like the Pokey Rap? Yeah, but with Halo. And they just named the aliens. Now this is a story all about how my Halo it was pretty bad. got <laughs> twisted. It doesn't really have an upside or downside because it's a Halo. It's a ring world. That's clever. That's the song. You're fancy. You're so good at what you do.